Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of my video. Today, I'm in, yes, India. Look at this beautiful camel on the street. Wow, this is the only place I believe the camels on the road. Um, yeah, let me tell you, I'm in India, specifically in Agra. Agra is a city uh, in the bank of uh, Yamuna River, if I'm not mistaken, and about 240 kilometers away from uh, the capital city of New Delhi. So we took about three hours, 45 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, to drive all the way up from uh, New Delhi to Agra to see the symbol of love, which is Taj Mahal. Let me say hi to this lady. Hi. Yeah, uh, today's video, I'm here for just one day, let me tell you. I'm here for one day just to give you guys a, a quick tour about Agra and the Taj Mahal. So this is the main road, uh, takes you straight down to Taj Mahal. So I'm gonna show you guys the uh, kind of a market hunt before we get into Taj Mahal. Let me tell you, when you come to see Taj Mahal, don't forget to visit Agra shopping market because they are very, very popular for marble craft, such as marble replica of Taj Mahal, marble vases, hash trays and ornament boxes and other thing also they are very very popular for leather as you can see here opposite me uh, shoes leather boots bags slippers jacket you name it they are very very popular for leather goods in here as well but the price are a little too high because it's close to Taj Mahal and it's locally made so yeah you might be able to you, you should be able to spend a little bit more extra than the normal shopping spree that you do in India where you go to Madras and things like that but this area is very very popular for leather and marble uh, goods and also you find a lot of shops where they sell a local sweets here opposite me there's a local shoot shop, corner shop who sells local sweets local drinks and also a lot of restaurants where you can eat a local food so it is highly recommended that you visit these places when you come to see Taj Mahal let's walk around and see what more we can find Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoy that little market uh, tour. So right now I am entering Taj Mahal. As you walk along this path towards Taj Mahal, you see uh, many things. Beautiful flower gardens, water fountains, birds singing, and also loads of people like here uh, visiting to see Taj Mahal. But the one caught my eye was those two red buildings so let me tell you both of them are built on of a red sandstone in contrast to the marble tube in the center which is a Taj Mahal one of them is the mosque the other one is the guest house in the Taj Mahal complex for the naked eye it looks really really identical but in reality they are slightly different from each other 
Let me tell you some interesting things about these uh, red buildings. Uh, logically, the mosque is the building located to the west towards Mecca. The mosque has three entrances. The main uh, one is the center of the mosque, which reveals the Taj Mahal. The mosque also uh, in currently in use, especially during Friday prayers, when there's no visitors coming to watch, uh, look at Taj Mahal, the mosque will be in use. So, yep. Yeah. Finally, the mosque also contains a minbar platform, which uh, the priest delivers pages. So yeah, that is just about the mosque. Okay, let's talk about the second building. It's called Bihman Khana, known as a guest house. It is slightly different to the mosque's details, but also very, very close to the mosque. This is also uh, made of simple slab of red sandstone. The interior is only a large room without walls of separation. But let me tell you, this guest house is very well preserved. Uh, this is for the people who are still wondering, why can't they turn this guest house into a mosque? But you can't, because in India, the mosque must be turned to the west. But in this guest house, the building, it turned from the east. So unless they do a complete renovation and change the structure of the building, I guess uh, you cannot change this guest house into a mosque. That will ruin the history uh, of Taj Mahal, basically. So yeah. Okay, this is the main entrance where you walk through the review of Taj Mahal. As you can see, there are so many people taking pictures and videos to cherish their memories, the visit to Taj Mahal. Come wait, let's go and explore. Taj Mahal, which means crown of the palace in Persian language. It is an ivory white marble mausoleum. Taj Mahal is the most famous landmark in India, which is located close to city of Agra. It is in the right side of river Yamuna. Yamuna river is one of the famous river in India. Taj Mahal attracts millions of visitors each year, locals and non-locals who come to see the beauty and to remember the romantic story behind this beautiful landmark. Taj Mahal was commissioned by the 5th Emperor Shah Jahan in 1631. He built this beautiful landmark for remembrance for his beautiful wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Taj Mahal is the centerpiece of 42 acre complex which includes mosques and the guest houses which I spoke about earlier. And also this place has formal flower gardens, water fountains and also very popular Yamuna River. The construction of Taj Mahal completed in 1643 but the work continued to other phase of project for another 10 years. <laughs> I believe it was fully completed in 1653. At the time, it was estimated to be around 32 million Indian rupees. 
they spent 32 million at the time in 1653. For the current uh, conversion rate, that's for 2023, I would say it's a, it was approximately about 35 billion. I'm pretty sure they recovered that money anyway. You know? Yeah, <clears throat> let's get back to the history of Taj Mahal. So construction was held by uh, Ahmad Lahori, the emperor's court architect. He had around 20,000 artisans under his guidance to complete this beautiful Taj Mahal. The uh, Taj Mahal was designated as the UNESCO's World Heritage Site in 1983 for being the jewel of Muslim art in India, one of the universal admirers of masterpieces of World Heritage. In 2007, it was declared a winner of new seven wonders of the world. Look at this man working hard to keep the place tidy. I think these people need to be rewarded properly. Yeah, these are the people who keep the place alive. We are going to enter the main bit. Let's see if I can get some videos inside. It is prohibited, but I'm going to try and get some videos. Let's do this. As you can see here, you need to cover your feet uh, because unfortunately, you can't just use your shoes or slippers to walk inside barefoot you have to wear kind of a plastic bags around your feet because I'm, I'm sure it's to protect uh, some things in there so yeah we've got it done now let's go let's go inside <coughs> hopefully i can get some videos i'm not too sure i'm gonna try and get some videos to see if i can capture to see what's inside and show you guys so let's let's go Oh, I didn't know. 